Hi, welcome to Foresight's TV and this is Anushka Tiagi with you. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, has implemented significant revisions to its master directions on fraud risk management in response to a Supreme Court judgment emphasizing borrower rights and fraud classification. This move underscores RBI's commitment to enhancing governance and oversight within regulated entities, REs, while bolstering early detection and prevention of financial frauds. Has a special report from Foresight's TV. Let's have a look at it with me, Anushka Tiagi. In a statement issued on Monday, RBI announced the update to its master directions, aligning them with the principles of natural justice as outlined in March 2023 Supreme Court ruling. The judgment highlighted the necessity for banks to afford borrowers the right to be heard before their accounts are classified as fraudulent. This includes providing notice, explaining audit findings, and allowing representation by borrowers or joint lenders forum JLF. The revised guidelines now explicitly mandate compliance with these principles in a timely manner, ensuring fairness and transparency in the process of fraud classification. This marks a departure from previous practices where such procedural safeguards were not explicitly stated. Furthermore, RBI's framework on early warning signals EWS, and red flagging of accounts RFA, has been strengthened to felicitate early detection and prompt reporting of potential frauds to law enforcement agencies and regulatory bodies. The inclusion of data analytics and market intelligence units aim to bolster risk management systems, enhancing RE's capabilities in detecting suspicious activities. The central bank has also emphasized the importance of robust internal audit and control frameworks within RE's aimed at fortifying their resilience against financial misconduct and operational risk. This comprehensive approach is intended to foster a culture of proactive risk management and compliance aligning with international standards of governance and accountability. In a move to streamline regulatory requirements and reduce compliance burdens, RBI has withdrawn 36 existing circulars related to fraud risk management. This rationalization initiative seeks to simplify regulatory obligations for REs while ensuring effective implementations of the revised guidelines. As the revised fraud risk management guidelines come into effect, RBI's proactive measures are expected to strengthen the resilience of India's financial sector against fraud risk. The incorporation of borrower rights underscores a commitment to fairness and due process, aligning regulatory practices with judicial directives. Moving forward, these updates are poised to enhance transparency, accountability and efficiency within REs contributing to a more robust financial ecosystem. Stakeholders are encouraged to adhere to the new guidelines diligently, fostering a secure and trustworthy banking environment in India.